G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So tonight I'm gonna make some seafood fettuccine, two Aussie style. What I thought I'd do is get up a little bit close and personal with this one because usually when I use this tray you can't see too much. So I've got some fettuccine here, marinara sorry, not fettuccine, marinara. That's a seafood mix. We got prawn, um, calamari, mussels, and bits of fish. I think there's supposed to be scallops in there, but I couldn't really see them. Maybe they missed out on putting that in this time. So, guys, I'm going a bit earlier than usual tonight because I thought we'll cater to some of our people who can't usually stay up too late. So, also. Up some fettuccine already, actually fettuccine pasta. That's it there. So that's just coming out of the microwave. I heat it up a little bit more. That should be right when we do it. And we've got some parmesan cheese to put on top. And this one takes cream and some garlic. So what I'll do is once I cook this up and I put it on a plate and then we have a bit of a chat. Then I'll just try and move the camera back a little bit. So anyway, I thought you might like to see what the process is here. And I did promise to make this one, but I haven't got around to it yet. So tonight's the night, guys. Let's just see who we got in here first. Actually, I'll put the burner on, get it all pumping. down a little bit. So if you are in my last live you would have seen I had the little uh, hot plate, grill plate that I bought and that's pretty good. This one's got high sides so I thought we'll get in there and check it all out as I make it. Make sure I go in the right spot because the handles get too bloody hot if I don't have it in the right spot. I won't be able to pick it up. So guys, I'm just trying to get into this thing, see what's happening, see who's in here. Michael B. Hey mate. Love your videos. Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Brickster, how you going? Zoom B Nature. That's a big skillet. <laughs> We're zooming in tonight, dude. It is quite big though. It's actually a paella pan. Riley Weaver, how you going? Good to see you again. I suppose you've been on hot, back from your camp. Whoa, China. G'day, brother. What's cracking? <laughs> I actually watched a few of your videos today. I was keep up the keep doing it because I tell you what what you're doing is good. I like it. I like it when you're out with your mates. I saw the abandoned house one. So if you haven't been watching any of my live videos lately, this is how I'm doing things to make sure I don't burn stuff. But I really stuffed this pan up. But I really wanted to make this one because I told people I was going to make it and it's one of my favourites. It's actually getting pretty hot already, maybe I've got it up too high still. Turn it down a little bit. It's funny I say turn it down and I go the wrong way. Okay, don't want to burn this stuff. So guys, believe it or not, I haven't eaten all day but I didn't get up too late. Too early today, sorry, not too late. I didn't get up till about 1, 1 p.m., so I'm pretty right. I'm starving now. Let's whack this in. It's going to be a bit of a sizzle. Hopefully it won't sizzle on the camera. I'll just cook that up slowly. Hello, ATB Craft. How are you going? I thought you might have been away because I had was wondering why isn't Riley Weaver commenting on my videos and then I thought oh yeah that's right he's on he's away at camp so probably a bit hard to do when you're away and like I always say guys the good thing about sitting over here is I can chuck stuff in the sink so I chuck that in so what are we doing next I so can pump that up a bit that's a little bit too low I can never get this thing right 
But that's the seafood marinara. I just bought it from my local supermarket. Actually, if you guys have watched me, you know I love Aldi, so it's from Aldi, of course. It's cheaper than the other stores too, which is good. I don't like to spend too much money on my videos if I don't have to. So I thought I'd just do a little quick live now. You never know, I might do another one later when Liam comes back. Although he could walk in the door anytime. Dude, I didn't go to bed till about 3 a.m. But I wanted to sleep in tonight because today because um, Liz and I are going off to do breakfast tomorrow and I've got to stay up all night. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll give it a go. Tracy's Treasures, how are you going? Good to see you here. If you haven't met some of these people, go to their channels and have a look. So we're doing um, seafood fettuccine carbonara. And you might have noticed in the title I've spelled it wrong, but I'll go back and edit that later. So you can't see my Aussie flag tonight, but it is up. We'll get, I'll put the camera back later when I've made this up. And then we'll... I'll show you what it all looks like later on. I really am thinking about maybe going live later on too, because I've got to stay up all night, so I might get, give it a go. You never know. So anyway, this is looking good. Well, this is, like I said, I was said the other night I was going to try and make this up, but I didn't get around to it. I ended up making something else, but it's just, this is so simple. All you got to do is, like I've cooked the pasta up already. That's the pasta in there. Just some fettuccine. It doesn't have to be fettuccine, but it works with this one pretty good. Bit of Parmesan cheese on top when it's finished. Don't put it in the food. Just seafood marinara, defrosted, not frozen. Chuck it in, and all we're going to do after that is I've got 300 mils, which is a good amount for this dish of cream, thickened cream, that's all you need, thickened cream from the supermarket. Minced garlic, which good thing I got it because I didn't have any left. Now once this is cooked, you just put the garlic next, give it a few minutes or a minute or two. The garlic gives it a good flavour, and then whack the cream in, and once the cream thickens up, you've got a beautiful dish. And that's how it all works. Bit of parmesan on top makes it even more tasty. So it brings out the flavour, so that's good. And I didn't want to do this one with Liam because he doesn't mind seafood, but he doesn't like prawns, and I'm not picking the bloody prawns out. Am I hungry? Dude, I haven't eaten all day. I was going to go off and do a KFC thing with Liam today, but it didn't work out. But we're going to, we'll do it eventually. The um, I don't know if you noticed my video where we did the secret... Uh, secret menu on KFC, well, I thought, because it says it updates regularly, that it was going to update the whole menu, the four things. It didn't. One's gone, and one's, there's a new one called a Kentucky Slide or something like that, which is pretty much the Kentucky Burger with the coleslaw. I think a slider bun, so we're going to try that out eventually. But if we don't hurry up, we'll never get to it. No, the rings are actually, uh, you probably won't hear when I describe what it was. It's calamari. That's calamari, the rings. Prawns. So I'll show you where they are. Mussels. And there's little white bits, uh, bits of fish. So that's what all that is. This won't take too long to cook. So I didn't actually get a teaspoon, but what I'll do is put half a tablespoon. You, and don't hold back on the garlic. That's just minced garlic. I don't use fresh garlic that much. It's too much mucking around. But at least a, a teaspoon of minced garlic, all garlic, gives it a good flavour. Because this is how where the flavour comes from, the garlic. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's calamari. So that's a seafood marinara mix that you just buy in a supermarket. I've used about two-thirds of the bag for this one. That's cooking along nicely. I actually probably put a bit too much butter in there. There's a whole heap of butter at the bottom there. <laughs> I don't find this tray very good to have the oil and the butter in. It doesn't seem to sit in one spot. We'll go where I want it to. We'll just turn that a bit. Put that up that way. 
Now I did that, I can really smell everything. The garlic, the butter, it's beautiful. I love this dish. That's why I wanted to make it for you guys to show you, because I love it. So guys, I don't know if you've seen, at the moment, there's a lot of people, even big YouTubers like Brett Manrock, I watched him today, and Jeffree Star. They're doing this thing, and a lot of smaller YouTubers, people around my level, all sorts of people who are doing food channels, go through the drive through and let the person and, and order what the person in front of them ordered. Now, to tell you the truth, I don't want to really want to do it, but Liam wants me to do it. <laughs> and uh, guys, if you think that's a good idea to do it or you've watched any of these videos, let me know what you think. We'll talk about that for a while. I saw Brett Man Rock do it today. I don't know if you know who he is, but look him up. He's funny. I find him so, so funny with his sister Princess, but they did it. But what they did was ordered whatever the person in front ordered, they ordered it two times. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, and that's because it is out a lot, Riley. I don't know if I really want to do it, but I think Liam just wants to go and do it for the food. So that's the, the thickened cream. Guys, if you, if you do want to make this, you know, people talk about double cream and all these sort of cooking creams and, sh and shit like that. Just get thickened cream. That's all you need. That's all you can, that's what you cook with. Double cream, thickened cream. Just get thickened cream. Not hard to find. It's in every supermarket. If you want to eat, you know, and with this, you can make variations. You don't have to use seafood. If you don't like seafood, put a bit of chicken, bacon. You can make it your own way. As long as you do the main thing of putting some garlic near the end, and the cream, and you'll see this, it looks very runny, but after a while, this will thicken up. And actually, probably a good thing to do now is to pump it up a bit, because once you pump it up, the cream sort of reduces. Actually, say pump it up, it's actually not doing too bad, but it looks a bit under there. <laughs> but what you do is, once it starts to thicken up, then put it on low heat for a little while, and let it simmer, and then it goes nice and thick. Hey, Gridlock Gaming, I wondered if I'd catch you this, this early because I'm going a bit earlier than usual. And Riley in the mountains tonight, it's actually quite mild. I put the fire on, but I got it down low because it was getting a bit cool. But if I have it pumping, I'll be bloody boiling and sweating, so especially cooking. <laughs> well, actually... Tracy, it might be fun if the person in front isn't a vegetarian. I'll tell you what, I probably could do with some veggie stuff at the moment. But my girlfriend Liz, who you'll see in the videos, we're going off to do a few tomorrow. She's actually trying to, well, I tell her to say she's ve uh, vegetarian in case we can't exactly do the vegetarian. But she's trying to be actually vegan. And I'd eat it. But well, that's what we're going to look at tomorrow. We're going to go to Hungry Jack's because it's not really close to us. And we're going to go and get a, um, what's it called? A... Uh, because I'm not buying it, I don't know what it is. But it's a vegan um, McMuffin, that's right. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just the same as their vegan burger because what, what, what can you really put on it except vegan cheese, a patty, but the only thing that will be different will be it'll have a, um, oh, what's it called? It'll have a McMuffin that's vegan, so um, probably they are anyway, so who knows. But yeah, I saw Bretman Rock do it today. I watched his video, even though it's been out for a while. He did it today or yesterday. And he went through and ordered two times. He's ended up, and because things are cheaper in America, although he went through and it ended up costing him $89. And they bought so much stuff, I couldn't believe it. But I don't know if they were going to eat it. Do we get snow in winter? Riley, last year we didn't get any. We might get a bit of sleet and that sort of thing. But last year we didn't get any. But majority of the time, if we have a cold enough winter, we'll get two or three times snow here where I am. So that's why I like to do a lot of stuff outside, like doing cooking on the back deck with this burner. But even if it's a nice day at the moment, it's starting to get a little bit too cool. So this thing isn't thickening up, and that's the whole idea of the video. So if that doesn't thicken up, I'm not going to have a very good dinner. Well, Liz made a little video a while ago with a vegan, she made like a little vegan pasta, but she's not someone who really cooks, but it was quite good, it was pretty good. So, I'll eat vegan, but I've got to have my meat and seafood, I like seafood 
as much as anything else. So I don't know how well you can see that because everything looks a bit bright. I might move it back a little bit. But it's actually thickening up a bit. I can't lift that up because the handles get too hot. So it is thickening up. That's what we want it to do. So I might put it right down. Just let it simmer for a couple of minutes and then we'll be right. If Once I turn it off, it'll really thicken up. It just goes through the heat of the pan. But you've got to be careful because you don't want it to burn either. It's not going to look too good if it's burnt. So that's not going too bad. Yeah, check it out. I mean, uh, whether he's, I mean, it's Brentman, Brentman Rock, but whether he's, whether he's doing this thing that everyone's doing or whether he's doing other things, he's actually very funny. <laughs> he's gay as, but he's so funny. <laughs> he makes me laugh. That's why, um, I don't know if Wo China is still here, but guys, go over and check out his channel because what I like about it, it's real. It's not fake. It's not put on. It's like, it's what young guys would do. So it's really funny. I like his channel. I'm hoping that he gets lots more subscribers and that you guys can see him in the comments here. He's got a funny channel. I don't know. There was a video you had there, Wo China, that had this guy. It was your last video and he was saying subscribe or die. What happened to it? Disappeared. Man, I'm getting all these notifications now. Oh shit, I forgot about you reminded me, I forgot about the smoke alarm. <laughs> I'm gonna disconnect that from now, but this one isn't actually smoking too much, it's alright. We were burning stuff the other night, I think. That's why it went off. That's what I was gonna do every time I cook, I was gonna take that bloody smoke alarm off. I disconnect it. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me about that one. So, uh, just let that simmer away a little bit. It's thickening up a bit. It's looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's everything so white, so it's a bit hard to focus it properly and make it look good. But and then I'm going to put on a white plate, so that probably won't help much either. Yeah, but what happened to the video where that guy you were at school, I think, and you at the end of the video he said subscribe or die. I lost it. I think I made a comment on it too. I can't see it when I was looking today. Roopster's in here. I wondered who would come in at this time. We're going a bit earlier than usual. I was just saying to the guys, check out Wo China's channel. He's really funny, the thing he does with his mates. And uh, I thought, that, I watched the thing today with your abandoned house and you pretend there was a homeless person in there and scaring each other and all that stuff. It's like, to me, that's what young guys do. It's funny. I used to do stuff like that when I was your age too. <laughs> I love it. So what I might do, because I don't think I'm going to be able to pick this thing up. So you might not be able to notice it, but it's actually gotten quite thick now, which is what we want. So as soon as you turn it off, that little bit of simmering heat makes it really thicken up. So sometimes you got to be careful it doesn't go too thick. You end up with no sauce. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do this bit now. Sometimes, well, not sometimes, most of the time I just wing it. I just get on here. I know how to make this. I've made this plenty of times before, but the dishing up and all that sort of thing, usually not in this sort of position. So I need that. I don't care if that gets dirty. Just chuck shit in everywhere. So this fettuccine. Cooked that up a little while ago because you didn't want to be cooking on the hot plate as well. It would have taken forever. Still pretty hot because I give it a bit of a microwave before I started this video or we'll started going live. Probably not the best best fettuccine you're ever going to see, but it's not too bad. Now, guys, if you weren't here earlier, I was saying I actually haven't eaten today, and I don't know why. I was well, I do know why. Me and my son, Liam, we're going to go off and do a video today, and it never happened. He's still out, and I'm hoping he doesn't bust, come bust, barging through the door now, because he doesn't know I'm doing this at the moment. But, because I haven't eaten, I'm bloody starving. I'm thinking about maybe going live a bit later on tonight, but it may not happen with him when he comes home. But it may not happen. So 
So you can probably see how thick that cream is now. It's not that runny. It's really good. I've got to say, guys, I missed out last night. Yesterday was the first time in three weeks that I haven't made a video. I haven't done any lives, and I really missed it because I love, especially doing the lives, I love coming in here and chatting with you guys. Although I'm not doing much of it at the moment because I'm too busy concentrating on this. So that's not too bad. Everything's going to be a bit white, but still. It's a beautiful dish if you try it. And then when you put some parmesan on top, beautiful. So I'm really going to, I'm actually going to eat all this. I'm starving. Might look like a lot, but I'll be eating it. And that's the other thing, talking about eating all this. I know it looks like a lot, but I haven't eaten today. But that Brett Man Rock, I just, I actually made a comment. Normally I don't make a comment on bigger YouTubers, bigger YouTubers, but they bought so much stuff that $89 and there was only him and his sister eating it. I just thought, are they really going to eat all that? And why did they do two times? So anyway, if we do it, I don't think we're going to do it because I'm not interested, but we'll see. So that's pretty good. Now the trick is get that fettuccine on there before it cools down because you want it to melt a little bit. Sorry, not fettuccine, parmesan. I don't know if you've ever seen Salt Bay. There's a channel called Salt Bay and whenever he puts salt and pepper and stuff like that on things, he goes like this. He runs it down his arm. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. We'll see how it goes. That's a lot of fit. that's a lot of parmesan, but it's alright. You couldn't see my whole arm in that, but that's how he does it. He puts his arm up like that, and he lets it run down his arm, and then goes like that with the salt and pepper. I always wanted to do that, and I keep forgetting. So anyway, let's dump that. that too. So that's it guys, even though I've gotten parmas and cheese everywhere, that's the end result. Well, I've got to tell you guys, I like cooking, but this is the part I like the most when I get to, I know I haven't looked at many of your comments right now, but this is the part I like the most when I can just sit back, relax and eat. And check out your comments and have a have a chat. So let's see what's going on in here. You love parmesan, I tell you. Liam loves parmesan too. He put <laughs> I can't believe it. He puts parmesan on bloody what's it called? Butter chicken. Sometimes I like butter chicken that I don't I don't make it myself. And I make butter chicken and rice and he even puts it on that. I can't believe it. And for me, butter chicken doesn't go on Indian. Sorry, parmesan doesn't go on Indian. But this one's a beauty. So I'll see if I can adjust this a bit and get you guys in the picture a bit more. It'll get me in the picture a bit more, actually. What I didn't do was lower my chair. There we go. So I'll put it back a little bit. Sorry about the jiggly footage. That's better. And guess what just happened? My bloody microphone unclipped and went in my food. Not too bad though, not too messy. So here we go guys. Big dinner and a big chat. I think we're buffering a bit at the moment. Yes, it is a perfect meal to start my weekend. I was saying earlier that Liam's not into this sort of thing. He doesn't like prawns. He does like parmesan, though, and fettuccine and pasta. But I'm going to get this in before he comes home. He's out at the moment. Beautiful. I can't tell you how good that feels to even take that first mouthful when I haven't eaten all day. Usually don't go this late before I eat.
what seafood it's a marinara mix which you buy from the supermarket i've actually kept some in the packet so i'll put it in the in the freezer back in the freezer but it's in the thumbnail there well it might be in the thumbnail i tried to get it in there it's um seafood marinara with calamari prawns it's got some what are they call mussels a bit of mussels in it and bits of fish beautiful and tasty I had someone say last time when I was using that tray because it's got a lip on it they couldn't see the food and I knew that I could see it on the camera but I thought this time I'll get in close so you guys can see it when I use my new hot plate it's good because it's flat and it's only got a little bit of a lip around it and you can see it <laughs> on raisin bran actually because we're not up that early we don't usually eat um, cereal that often well we don't eat, actually eat cereal so Liam doesn't actually put on raisin bran because he's not up that early Bob Lanton what's cracking I've just made a seafood Sort of a seafood cabanara fettuccine it's got fettuccine noodles it's got some seafood in it prawns calamari uh, mussels bits of fish i'll give you a bit of a close-up it's actually quite nice i love it it's one of my favorite dishes if i get to make it but i was just saying my son liam doesn't eat he eats seafood, but he doesn't like prawns, and I wasn't going to pick the prawns out for him. So I did this while he's not here. Uh, you know it, I got it from Audi. <laughs> I love Audi. You probably saw the packet in the thumbnail. But if you didn't see the packet in the thumbnail, you know, you guys know I love Audi. Audi's my favourite store. A storm good thing I don't have one here I tell you I can't believe I've taken four weeks off holidays and I've still got it close to a week left the weather's been beautiful I've had one day of rain I was hoping for that too because I want to get out and do stuff to make videos and stuff no moon wind you just know that I love Aldi <laughs> I keep saying it So we're doing another project, well, cooking project. Liam's right into this one. We're going to make some pancakes. And believe it or not, I went to Woolworths last night because they didn't have what I needed there. I wanted some Hershey's chocolate sauce, which I've got sitting up there. We're going to make some pancakes. We were going to do it last night, but we didn't get around to it. We're going to go live. Who knows, we could do it later tonight. But we're going to make some pancakes with ice cream and Hershey's sauce. So... That'll be nice. Yes, we call them prawns in Australia. I do find that difficult sometimes because I actually even watched an American today, some American guys that were trying to say some Aussie stuff and they said, throw a shrimp on the barbie. I mean, that's so old now, but we really don't say shrimp, we say prawn. But when I comment on people's videos and they've got prawns, if the title says prawn, I say prawn. If the title says shrimp, I say shrimp. <laughs> i tell you, Riley, even though Liam doesn't like prawns, prawns are one of my favourite foods. These are only small ones. You can't expect too much in a marinara mix. But I love them. A lot of times, maybe once or once every week or two, or every couple of weeks, I make fried rice, which I might make tonight for Liam. 
but I love it with prawns, but I can never put prawns in it because he doesn't like it. So, and I'm not doing two separate meals. Hi HBM stars, how are you? Thanks for coming in tonight. And I'll tell you guys, if you missed the beginning of this video, when I was cooking, because I've actually cooked this and then now I'm eating it, this is such an easy dish to make. I don't I do not do complicated. The easier the better. And if it's easier, then otherwise the, drag, the video is going to drag on for hours. But it's um, just a seafood marinara cooked up in the hot on the hot plate, bit of cream, bit of garlic, and a bit of some fettuccine pasta, which I cooked up earlier, and just cook it up, let it thicken up, then put it on the pasta, bit of parmesan, parmesan cheese on top, beautiful. Yeah, weekends here, but I tell you guys, when I'm working, I usually start on Sunday, so I have Friday, Saturday off. That's when I do a lot of my videos. But I was saying earlier, I have to try and stay up all night tonight because I stayed up. I slept in really late today till about 1 p.m. And I have to try and stay up all night tonight because in the morning, got to go and vote for our next asshole prime minister who's going to screw us over for the next four years, or maybe if he stays in or his mates might vote him out, like we don't vote him out. Anyway, we won't get into that, but we've got to go and vote. Then we're going off somewhere about, you know, probably roughly 100 kilometres away, where they've got all these takeaway foods. We've got to get there for breakfast and do Hungry Jacks, and then later on I'm going to try the Triple Farmhouse from Hungry Jacks. But anyway, I've got to stay up all night. So who knows? I might go go live again next time. Skull a drink for Hawk. Well, you know, I'm not going to get into politics. I mean, tomorrow I've got to go and vote. But only the only reason I go and vote because if I don't, I'll get fined. Otherwise, I wouldn't vote for any of them. And I'll tell you guys, I'll say this on here, and I don't give a shit if anyone cares about what I do or not, as far as this goes. I don't go and vote anymore. I go and get my name marked off so I don't get fined. And then I put the ballot paper in with nothing on it, because nobody is going to actually fix things in this country. All they continually do is screw us over. And help themselves. Now, this is why I know a lot of people don't like Trump, and I'm not going to get into that either. But this is why a lot of people voted for Trump, because they want a new person that actually might do something for them, not for themselves. So, that's just my opinion. I mean, you're entitled to yours. You know, whatever you think. If you want to go and vote for whoever, if you think that's going to make a difference, you go right ahead. But myself, I'm not voting for anyone. <clears throat> I just don't want to get fined. And I just think in a democracy, democracy. You should have the right to either vote or not vote. And if you don't, you get fined. After saying that, I better remember to go tomorrow. Because I might forget. I'm glad you are, Taz. Daz, having a beer for him. But i tell you the truth, I wouldn't have a beer for any politician. I don't care who they are. I don't wish anyone dead, but, you know... I don't really care about any of these politicians. So, like I was just saying, I'm going to vote tomorrow, but I'm not voting for anyone. I'm just getting my name marked off, and I'm not going to be responsible for the next arsehole we put into office, because that's what we seem to do. I'll tell you, I said I was going to eat all this. I know it looks like a lot and I haven't eaten today, but that may not happen. I'm getting pretty full already, but if I keep jabbering away enough, I'll probably have enough room by the time I finish.
Taz Daz, what do you think about, let's talk about important stuff, not politics. What do you think about, we were talking about earlier about the um, people doing the drive-through and letting the person in front of them order for them, like they'll order whatever they ordered without knowing what it is. What do you think about that video? Would you do that? I don't know if you've seen any of them, but everyone's doing it. Even the bigger YouTube tubers going through the drive-thru and ordering what the person in front of them ordered. I don't want to do it, but Liam wants to do it, so you never know. It could happen. Yeah, well, it can be 24 hours. I've seen people do that. But some people are just going through the drive-thru to get whatever's whatever the person in front did. I saw Bretman Rock did it today and he went through, he had a fellow with him and his sister and all they got was like a couple of drinks. <laughs> so they went and tried again then they ended up with $89 worth and I don't know how they, if they even ate it all. Yeah, I, I agree with that. You want to get something you like but I tell you, because I eat most of this stuff, I know I'm probably going to like it. And I think that's why Liam wants to do it, because he wants, just wants to get a heap of takeaway food. But you could go through and you could get, just get a drink or something like that, and then you've got to go again, if you want to. It is popular, and I was thinking yesterday, like Liam keeps talking to me about it, and he said, oh, we should do it. And I just said, dude, it's been out like for a couple of weeks now. Like, why bother? And I don't really want to do it anyway. I feel like we missed the boat. And then all of a sudden, one of the biggest YouTubers, Jeffree Star, is actually doing it after a couple of weeks. And he's got like, well, I looked this afternoon, well, actually about two o'clock, I looked. I didn't watch the video, but he's got like 5.8 million views on it. And he's like doing it two weeks, three weeks after it started. Well, dude, if you do something at 500 subscribers, I'll be definitely watching it, like something spicy. The boys wanted to do, I got challenged to do something. The reason I didn't do it was because I had to, would have had to pay for me and Liam. A little chocolate, that's uh, chili chocolate, I think it's called from a company called Fugo Box. The good thing about that one, though, is if I did it, it part of the proceeds go towards bowel cancer, like of what you pay for the... For the chocolate but looking at it on ebay it was going to cost 20 bucks each and then i thought if i'm going to pay 40 bucks i might as well just do a video of bloody Mac mcdonald's or something like that so we never got to that one we did get challenged but we never did it i'm trying to keep away from the challenges a bit because we started doing a bit of that and then it's like as soon as you start doing something like that everyone wants to give you a challenge chili chocolates look up fugo box they've got it heaps of them fugo box i think it's f-u-e-g-o box this was like at least a month ago i saw someone else doing it on their live and you know i thought about it but they challenged me because i made a comment in there they know who i am but then i like no i never did it <laughs> No, I haven't tried them, um, but I watched the person eating it. They reckon it's hotter than the Carolina Reaper. And it's actually chocolate. It's a little square of chocolate, probably about that big. It's not big, but it's chocolate block full of chili, and it's like a chili chocolate. It's, it probably tastes good if it was just chocolate, but... I've got to tell you guys, if you look back through my videos, which I don't, I'm not asking you to do that, but what I'm saying is, if you go back through my videos and see how long ago I made this, which someone actually did the other night, I made a comment, someone who's on here now, or what's on here, that's how long it's been since I've had this stuff. I should make it more often, I love it. It's just, like I said, the um, you could make a half amount of the 
seafood marinara mix, the frozen one, because I've actually used a bit more than half the packet here, but for a normal meal, half the packet, you get two meals out of it. And just a bit of cream, a bit of thickened cream. Like I said earlier, only get thickened cream. And a bit of garlic, a teaspoon of garlic, and a bit of fettuccine noodles. It's a great meal. You'd think it would be expensive, but it's actually not. It's quite good. I think the marinara mix cost me $10. It was $9 something at Aldi. So, you know, 4 or $5 for the marinara and then a bit of cream, a bit of garlic, a bit of fettuccine. It costs you 6 bucks for a meal, but it's really beautiful. Christy, what's cracking? Oh, we're just making fettuccine marinara, cabanara, whatever I call it. I've just made up the name, but it's got fettuccine pasta, marinara mix, a bit of parmesan, a bit of cream. It's actually quite nice. As I was saying earlier, I haven't eaten today, which is unusual for me. Usually I've eaten by now. And we've gone a bit, I've gone a bit lot earlier today, which I don't usually do, earlier in the night. And it's a bloody ripper, this one. I'm doing good, bro. I'm very happy having a beautiful food. I'm always happy when I'm eating nice food. <clears throat> G'day, Chris. So, what's cracking? Mick Council, hi. I don't think I've seen you before. Anyway, that's good to see. Glad you're here. Meet some people if you like. If you've got a channel, just meet people. There's plenty of people in here. And even the guys that don't have channels, a lot of them love this food stuff, so that's good. They'll probably watch your videos and everything, so. 16 viewers, yeah, mate, it's pumping. You should know, you're in here all the time. I thought going earlier, because I'm usually a bit later, might not be many people, but it's good. It's great. I'll tell you, I might have said that I'm so happy now, which I am, and I love doing this, it's great fun, especially when I'm cooking and everything and you guys are watching and you're commenting, it's, it's great, I love it. But, yesterday I was so pissed, I couldn't believe it, I didn't make a bloody video, and I was so cranky, I was the opposite today, than today, you've never seen me like that, guys. All right, <laughs> yeah, that's a new one on me. Satan's toe. It's <laughs> a good name. Extreme chili challenge. I tell you guys, I watch these fellas. I mean, I've been a bit slack at the moment. The last few days, I was pretty cr cranky yesterday because I didn't make a video. I wasn't commenting on people's things as much as I normally do. I wasn't watching much, so I went and did something different for a change. I'm watching other YouTubers that would not even know I exist, and I, but big ones, and I was watching these guys called The Bell Life, and I can't believe another one doing bloody chili challenges, it's like, come on man, but anyway, they do a lot of challenges, not just chili, but it was a bit funny, because <laughs> the, the son was eating the chili, and he got some in his eye, and then the old man put the, the thing over his head, but he set it up, he put Carol, Carolina Reapers in it, it was only supposed to be spicy noodles. Nearly killed him. Now, that was funny. Taz, Daz, I'd like to see you do that. Eat five Cal <laughs> Carolina Reapers in your hot in your hot and spicy chili, in your hot and spicy uh, noodles. That would be fantastic. The guy didn't get through him. He had a couple of bites, and that was the end of him. But he was dying. How long have I been doing YouTube? I started it probably last, ooh, what's before September, July, August, August, about last August, September, doing another channel, which, you know, I've still got it there, but it's not, it never really did much, and I was just doing all random stuff, and then I started doing um, this one, I was, went on holidays last November, started in October, so since November I've been doing this one, and it's just, 
going from strength to strength. I'm loving it. It's having, I'm having fun. But I actually got a, um, a theme. It's about food, whether I'm cooking, reviewing, you know, trying out new stuff, mukbangs, whatever. It's all about the food. Except one thing I'm not going to do, and no offence to ASMR people, I just think I'm too much of an old codger to do ASMR. It's usually hot chicks, but most of the time. But no ASMR. But it's all about food, and if I wanted to, I could do that too, but I don't plan on doing it. Oh, yeah, those Carolina Reapers. He was putting in three, and then he was talking to someone who was filming. He says, should I put another one? Should I put another one? Yeah, yeah, put another one. He put five of them in there, cut them up small. Then the problem was, it looks like some red bits in there, which weren't supposed to be in the noodles. So he got a tin of diced tomatoes and put it in both of them. So it looked like he had the same thing. And it, <laughs> he put diced tomatoes, tomatoes in there as well. And the guy ate them, but a couple of mouthfuls, he was gone. That was the end of him. Dude, I have to pick roosters because I'm in New South Wales. Uh, I don't really go for Broncos, although Liz, my girlfriend, would go for Broncos because she used to live in Queensland. But my team, they were winning last night and then they got, well, not their asses kicked as usual, but they lost. I go for Tigers and I actually was talking to Liz on the phone while it was on and I'm watching it on the iPad and I said, oh, someone's scored again. And I said, I bet they lose by two points and they did. Bastards. No, I, I shouldn't say too much about ASMR because I do have people that watch mine and I watch theirs, but I can watch it. It doesn't bother me. Um, but what I'm not a fan of is when people get on there and start burping. I find that so gross. And if I accidentally burped, it'd be an accident and I can control myself. You just know that they're not controlling themselves. They're doing it on purpose. Not about that. That's one of my pet peeves. Carolinas are still number one hottest. Um, who said that? Tim O'Donnell. Well, I tell you, my son, he keeps saying he wants to do a chili challenge, and you never know, it could happen one day. We haven't done any sort of challenge for a while, so you never know. Maybe when the weather gets warmer, we can do it outside. We'll have a nice day, but it's starting to get a bit chilly outside now. Chilly, haha. <laughs> we'll eat chilies in a chilly day. Oh, you're a Broncos fan. Oh, well, that's, that's good. Um, believe it or not, even though I was saying Liz comes from originally from Brisbane, her mother actually is a Broncos fan too. She likes all the Brisbane teams, but she's actually up there. She's not far from Brisbane City. So well, Liz is originally from there, but she goes for rabbits because she has a little system why she went for them because her, um, her birthday is the same day, the same year as the last time before now that the rabbits won the grand final and she was so ecstatic when they won a couple of years ago she picked them for that reason <laughs> because the, the last time before the few years ago that they won was her the same year she was born <laughs> but she's a true rabbits fan even though she's originally from brisbane what does a woman and kfc have in common Slurping and burping can't stand. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's like... All right. Cowboys fans. Yeah, well, her mother would be up there. She's up there in Brisbane, but she's a true Queenslander. Even she moved here for a while. She couldn't stand it. It's too cold, so she went back. But she loves all the Queensland teams. She probably even likes the Titans. So that's fine for me. I'm not up there. I've never have been, and... I've always been here, but if you've watched any of my other videos when, or my lives when people are talking to me about NRL, <clears throat> I used to be love, love it when I was a kid, but when I lived down in Sydney years ago, when we were kids, we'd go and watch all the teams, and I sort of lived in the middle of everyone. There even used to be Newtown then, um, North Sydney Bears, they were the big teams before all the Queensland teams came in, South Sydney, all the rest, West, Eastern Suburbs, there was Western Suburbs who my team amalgamated with. But I could go for anyone, but I went for Tigers because they were my favourite. 
can't say they're my favourite anymore. But that's why I go for those Sydney teams because I was right in the thick of it all. Kind of cool, kind of hot. That's the thing, Riley. I'm putting the fire on even though this is a cool place. And I had a few cold days. If I don't put the fire on, it's too <laughs> too cold. And if I leave it off, it's too... If I put it on, it's too bloody hot. So at least you can open a few doors if you get too hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment on that one. I saw the the rest of the joke. I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> I do have two pet cats. You've seen Poppy the grey one. And the other one I think she was just banging on the door before, but what she does, she gets the screen doesn't close properly and she pulls it and goes bang, 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 trying to get in and whinging. So when I'm doing a live, I close it up because it's right here. <laughs> and I actually heard her whinging out there before. I haven't seen her all day, but she's not a cat who likes to be held. She doesn't, this is Tyra, the other one. She doesn't like to be held. She won't sit there for five seconds on my lap. So if you see Poppy, she loves being held. She loves being a part of things. But the other one, she's a bit wild, but... She does love you, but she's very wild. That was a pretty good joke, bro. But like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about it. Yeah, well, I'm getting pretty full now. I'm just going to take my time now. Yes, I was just saying that I'm, I am full, but it's actually getting pretty cold too. But it's still even cold. It doesn't taste too bad. I'm not overly full. Like I feel like I'm going to explode. I'll just take my time. We might have the live going for about another hour, or up not another hour, but for an hour. It's fifth up to about 52 minutes now. So until I finish this, we'll keep going live. That's a piece of fish. There's little fish pieces in there. This is beautiful. I wish you guys could try some. It's freezing in Perth. I find, because I went to Perth years ago, I find Perth and Sydney a lot of times are similar. But then the other thing is, I'm not in Sydney, Sydney. I'm like about a bit over 100 kilometres away from Sydney. And this is a very cold area. And it's the Blue Mountains in New South Wales, but I'm right up the top of the mountains, so further up you go, the colder it gets. So guys, I was saying earlier I've got to stay up all night tonight because I've only ever done so far one breakfast video. I can never get up for breakfast. So tomorrow, because I slept in so late today, tomorrow I've got to get off and vote and all that sort of thing early and then go with Liz to a place called Bathurst, which again is probably about another 100 kilometers away from here or at least an hour's drive. But we're going out for the day, do some shopping and stuff like that. But why I'm... Going, why we want to go so early is we want to try the breakfast McMuffin there at Hungry Jack's, but they also have a vegan one, which Liz wants to try. You know, I don't know, we're going to do a video about it, but I don't know, maybe what I'll do is compare them, because she can't, because she can only eat the vegan, but I might get a vegan one and a standard one, or there's a double one, so it could be all happening tomorrow. But if you don't see the video, it means I probably fell, fell back to sleep and didn't go. Well, that's what I was just what I was just saying. Then I also thought if I do that 
Hungry Jacks in the morning with Liz. You've got to be there before 11. That's why I've got to stay up all night because I'm hopeless at getting up. And we've got a long way to go, but I might do the shake and win as well and see what I get. So we'll get some, like do a breakfast thing, but do shake and win as well. You never know, I might get a coffee, free coffee or something like that. Wake me up a bit. But also later on, because we're going to be up there for a while, what I want to do is, if I can, and if I can fit it, try the triple farmhouse whopper. Because, guys, I've seen a few people do it. I've seen them just do, there's three in a range. I just see, I saw someone who's a pretty big YouTuber here in Oz do the double farmhouse. It's like, dude. Go hard or go home. Triple, triple, do the triple. So I'm going to go hard or I'll go home. I'm going to do the triple farmhouse whopper. But like I said, guys, if you don't see it, it means I didn't get up and oh, I fell asleep. I've got to try and stay up all night, otherwise it's just not going to happen. But I'm going to give it a go. That's the plan, but the plans don't always work, but you never know. The Impossible Burger. I've never heard of that one. I tell you, there's so many bloody things to do. It's unbelievable. I'm not going to give it away, but there was something I was going to do today. I don't want anyone to know, especially Taz Daz, or he might know about it. But something came out today at one of these places that I want to try. It's not a big deal, but it's a continuation of something else. And I was going to do that with Liam today, but things didn't work out as usual. It's getting darker earlier here and I don't want to be doing it in the dark because you can't see the bloody footage. It doesn't look too good. But I might get to that one next week. So many things to do. It's so good being on holidays and I can go and do all this stuff. How much have I got? to 57 minutes. So my longest live so far, I think, has been one hour and 13 minutes or something like that. But an hour is good. It's good to get in here and have a chat to you guys. Oh, well, Liz would like that one. <laughs> Actually, a couple of times now, when we've gone to Hungry Jack, Liz has had... We did a video of it. It's probably my first video. That's how long it's been going now. We did the vegan burger, which she wanted to try. At that stage, she was vegetarian, but she wanted to try it. And I never tried it. I still haven't tried it. <laughs> and then we went and did another Hungry Jack's one. I think it was when I had my Whopper, for my free one for my birthday. And she had another vegan burger. She's pretty limited, and that's partly why I want to go tomorrow and try out this vegan McMuffin. But I have a feeling all that's different on the McMuffin is the... Um, muffin itself so it'll probably be the same thing jay kurt how you going nice to have you here good luck gaming 14 degrees is not cold dude <laughs> you must feel the cold here we're getting down to two three four five that sort of temperature but when it gets and i'm sure taz daz gets pretty cold down there too because tasmania can get pretty cold but when we get down to real winter here, we're going to look at things sometimes even minus five, minus four, naught, you know, just about every night. So it's good to have the fire on, but at the moment I'm keeping it on so I don't get too cold. But it's making me actually too hot. What's the time now? 7.43. That's another reason I thought if I go earlier, the football's on. Half of you guys will be watching the football, so at least we'll get this done by the time the football's on. And you guys can go off and watch it. I watched my game last night. Well, sort of watched it. Watched my team get beaten again when they should have won. Thirty degrees, the highest thirty degrees. I love that. Thirty degrees is good. That's one of my favourite temperatures between twenty-five and thirty. I don't mind the cold too much if you can keep reasonably warm. But I can't stand the heat when you're sweating all the time. 25, 30 is pretty good for me. Yeah, we almost get to that. Like, you can go outside and you can have a, I have a bowl of water out there for the cats and in the middle of winter it could be like full of ice. It could be just a 
piece of ice in there. And sometimes it won't thaw out for two days, even if it's a nice day, but it's still cold. So it can get cold enough here. I've actually never been to Tasmania, so I might get down there one day. It still has lots of taste, but not the best cold. It's very cold now. <laughs> but I've got to finish it off. I've got to say, Riley, we get to see lots of AFL on the TV here in New South Wales, and I know many people like it. We even have a Sydney team. Actually, there's the other one too. I don't know if it's still going because I don't really follow it. The, I forget what they're called now, but they're from the western suburbs here. But never been a big fan of AFL. Liam loves it. He's like, he'll watch it. But me, I'm not a big fan. It used to be, for me, it's more cricket. NRL, but even that, I'm not as much as I used to be when I was a kid. But I'm not a big sports person anymore. Oh, yeah, of course, a lot of Melbourne teams. There's, I'm, I'm, of course, it started there, but same with the NRL. It started here as far as this competition that we watch. But I know it's pretty big in Queensland as well. 13 degrees now, did that go up or down? Oh, well, down, I think. Oh, man, you must be shivering. <laughs> Although, I've got to say, I wouldn't be here in a T-shirt if I didn't have the fire on either. I'd be wearing a jumper, which I was before I put the fire on. So, having the fire helps. Yeah, well, Riley, 42, here where I am, most of the time it doesn't reach that high. That's why I quite like it here. But if you go down about 50 kilometers, it gets up sometimes even to 46. And like that's, not, that's between Sydney and here. There's a place um, called Penrith, and not just Penrith, but in that sort of area. It can get so hot, it's unbelievable. I actually worked there down there years ago. One time I was working at a place called St. Mary's. It's not far from there. And we went outside at lunchtime and the guys had a thermometer and it said 46 or something like that. And that was probably, there was probably plenty of days of something like that. It's a terrible place. Yeah. 48. Yeah, I know. It can get hot. Even Sydney can get that hot. But here, it's actually, it probably never ever gets that high. 40 is probably as highest as you get, but even then, you know, most days, 30, 35, maybe 40, but never really past 40. That's why I like it here. So, guys, I might have a, this last couple of mouthfuls. Yes, I don't like hot weather either, moon wind. Um, did you say you lived in Adelaide? Because I know I can get bloody hot there. There you go, South Australia, yeah. See, Riley just commented, hottest day ever, 52 in South Australia. So, probably not somewhere I'm going to ever live, but I've never visited there either. Who knows, it might, it might be a great place to live, but I don't want to be that hot. That's the one thing I do like about here. It might get very cold, but it's not as hot as other places. Like, I don't think it's ever gotten to 52. Getting all these notifications coming up now. 
Well, zombie nature, you've learned a, a bit of stuff about Australia today. That's why I like it when you come in here and start talking about stuff like that. I had someone say to me a little while ago, oh, you need a subject. But the thing is, I've seen people going into lives trying to talk about a certain thing and they've got, and it started happening to me, which never happens. The comments start going really quick and you can't acknowledge people, you can't talk to them. I know I missed some of you guys tonight, some of the things you've said, but I can sort of go back and look if I, if I want to. But once it starts getting really fast, you can't comment on everyone. And then if you're trying to talk about a subject, it's too hard because you keep trying to acknowledge people, then come back, acknowledge them, talk about what they're talking about, then come back. But if you guys talk to me, I have something to talk about and we can keep it interesting because it's something you want to talk about, not something I want to talk about. Like when I started rabbiting on before about the politicians. Well, I didn't want that to become my thing. I could rant on about it for an hour, but I don't want to. I want to have you guys talk to me and I talk to you. That's all what it's about. That's why I like doing this. But when then there's the opposite, when, it hasn't happened lately, but when there's nobody in here and nobody's commenting, we, well, I had Liam here sitting here with me one night. We're just sitting there like a couple of stunned mullets. It's like, I'm going, have you got anything to talk about? No, i got nothing to talk about. Okay, let's end it. But anyway, guys, I will have to end it soon. And it has been fun. I've enjoyed it. I can't believe I've gotten to that last bit finally. Anyway guys, we're talking about 44 degrees, 52 degrees, and guess what we're coming into now here? Minus degrees. I don't want to see minus either. <laughs> but I've been getting out while I can and getting some firewood. And I've got plenty for the moment. But when it gets down to naught and less than naught, minus one, minus two, and sometimes it's like three or four degrees in the daytime, you go through a lot of firewood, trying to keep warm. So let's... Yep, all done. Like I said earlier, I haven't eaten all day. I, I never usually don't eat this long. But I thought if I have a little something to eat earlier, then I won't want to eat all this. So guys, we're talking about all this warm weather and we're coming into cold weather. So let's make the most of this beautiful weather at the moment. I know I've got another week of it yet. So that's good looking ahead. Yeah, well, good luck gaming. Some people do prefer the heat. I really prefer it in between. <laughs> that's my favorite. Anyway, guys, I want to, I know there's still a few people in here, but I'm going to head off now because, you know, going over an hour is... It's probably a bit dragging on, but we'll do it again, I'm sure, in the next few days, or who knows, I might even do it again tonight, but I doubt it. So, guys, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it, and thank you for all your support. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Hooroo, and give that a go.